Good morning, you guys. So today is Wednesday the 13th. Um, it is 4.41 a.m. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen some of my posts about how I like to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, which I do. Sometimes it's a little bit rough because I do want to sleep in, but I like it because I just get a lot more done, like doing these voiceovers. I'm a little bit of a weirdo and I don't like doing the voiceovers in front of Tony, so he's not up this early, so it gives me a chance to do it. Um, this video is my back workout from Sunday and then um, some of my squats as well. And so this week there is a meet at Kabuki on Saturday, so I had to condense my training. Um, so I did back on Sunday squatted on Monday, bench Tuesday, and then today I have a rest day to kind of split up the week a little bit. And then tomorrow I will do deadlifts and then Friday bench. And then I'll be at the meet helping out on Saturday. So um, I made a post earlier this week about not making excuses, making sure that you get your training in. Um, no matter what is going on. So that's what Tony and I did. You just have to take the time and um, look at your schedule for the week and plan accordingly. Um, and that's something that I tell my clients to do as well. Just like you would schedule a meeting with your boss, you have to schedule a meeting with yourself and take care of yourself. And then I'll do the same thing within the day as well. Take a look at my day, plan around my clients, when I'm able to eat, and when I'm able to work out and go from there, I mean, I can't expect my clients to get their workouts in and get their meals in if I can't do it. Because I find that it's very common for trainers to be like, oh, I just, I don't have the time. I get up and go right to work and start training. Well, I mean, then how do you expect your clients to, to do it if you can't do it yourself? There's always time. You just have to make it um, and stop making excuses. So, yeah, a little bit of a rant on that, but um, in this video, I really wanted to talk about um, why I have a coach. So, I actually, I kind of have two coaches. So, I have Jason Theobald, who does my nutrition, nutrition and supplementation, and more of like my bodybuilding um, stuff. And then I have my boyfriend, Tony Montgomery, who does my powerlifting programming, my training programming. Um, and when I first started being um, personal training and like saw the prices and was like, oh my gosh, I would never, ever have a trainer. This is way too expensive. It's just silly, um, which I'm sure got in the way of me actually getting clients as well because I had that mindset. I didn't see the value in having somebody there um, training you and coaching you, holding you accountable to things. But now that I've been um, training for like four and a half years and then also an athlete myself for about the same amount of time, um, I couldn't imagine not having a trainer or a coach. Um, I've had a few since 2013, just kind of, um, I guess you could say, tried out different coaches and learned different things from each of them, had different experiences. But when it all comes down to it, I, I have a coach so I just don't have to think as much. Um, they write out my programming and, and I do it. And I mean, um, I'm learning to ask more questions and think a little bit more about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But um, it's just nice for someone to be like, okay, these are your macros. Make sure you hit them. End of story. This is how much cardio I want you to do. Boom. These are the supplements. Boom. Just makes it a little bit easier, um, especially because I'm a trainer myself and I have however many clients that I kind of have to do that for. So then I can focus on them and um, and then just do what I have to do. I don't have to really think about my own programming. Um, and then with my powerlifting programming, I'm so new to powerlifting, so I would be completely lost if I didn't have Tony there 
to do my programming for me. Um, and then kind of the same thing. It's just nice to, to have a program when I'm going into the gym and just follow it. Hit those um, reps, hit the sets. Sometimes he gives me specific weights for the day. Um, hit that and then be done. Um, and then having a coach and a trainer, there's someone there to hold you accountable. So like with Jason, my bodybuilding coach, I have to send him pictures once a week. So that holds me accountable um, and because I'm not going to want to just go all nutso with my eating. Be like, oh, it's my off season. It's okay. Oh, I'm trying to increase calories. I'm trying to gain weight. It's okay. No, no, no. I still need to look um, look a certain way, especially because I am a figure competitor. Yeah, right now I'm focusing on strength and powerlifting, and I am in my off season, but that doesn't matter. Um, I am still a trainer. I still do nutrition. So I need to look a certain way for my clients and then look a certain way for myself as well. When I look better, I feel better, and I perform better. Um, so... Yeah, and then um, I also find that having a coach helps when I get really stressed out. Um, I can be very neurotic when it comes to my training and my nutrition. I'm um, a perfectionist, and I like everything to be be almost perfect in a way. So having somebody there to tell me, like, Kaylee, relax. You're doing fine. It's nice to have that cheerleader in a way. Um, So that's why... I have a coach and I find it very, very important and useful and I recommend everybody getting a coach or a trainer or at least giving it a shot. So thanks again for listening, you guys. (laughs) Bye.